Hey guys, I'm going to be reviewing Andromeda 1.2 for the Captivate, and it is my favorite ROM. Uh, it used to be Cognition, and now it's Andromeda, and um, I honestly can't see anyone doing any better than this. Um, it it has perfect, um, it's lag free basically, and it is very, very snappy, and um, it has some very nice uh, visuals. Um, there is also Andromeda 2.2, which has um, the orange theming, but um, that's not that's not me. Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not into orange. So uh, yeah, I went with the stock look, which is very nice. It runs um, TouchWiz UI, and um, let's start it up. And oh, it's based on the Armani i nine thousand ten i ninety ten I think. So let's start up um, this ROM and let's see how it performs. So we got the boot animation and it has sound which is new. And we're already up. Uh it's gonna go through its usual um uh boot up sequence if you wanna call it that. So um let's give it a few seconds. So here's Andromeda one point two. Um as you can see it's very fast it's drop down um, notification bar just like that there does not seem to be any form of lag and it's my favorite ROM um, we got the touch with controls here uh, and that's all normal that too is very snappy and you got the the pinch in um, pinch to zoom out um, feature you see on perception. Uh, okay, um, we also have um, landscape format that is also very nice, and we have the um, the hat camera, which you can use the power button to take a picture. Let's take a picture of my speakers or my screen. And yeah, I use my my power button for that, which is a cool feature. Um so everything else is pretty basic for um Samsung. Uh it's got three different keyboards. Um we got the gingerbread keyboard here. And if I go to my settings option here, locale and text, we got swipe, and we got the Samsung keypad. Uh, the gingerbread keyboard is pretty cool. You can um, customize it. Um, by customize, I mean, well, it has options. And um, there is nothing much. I always seem to miss stuff um, in my reviews. Maybe I should start um, taking notes or something. I don't know. But <clears throat> it was supposed to be a quick review of Andromeda. If, um, oh yes, um, I shouldn't forget that this is an AT&T phone and I'm using it on Fido in Canada. So um, when I flashed the ROM it had um, a tiny R right here, meaning that um, meaning I was roaming. Uh, it kind of bothered me, and I really re liked the ROM, so I was like fighting for it. Uh, so I flashed different modems. I flashed the Gel One, um, the Armani modem, 
don't do that. That that basically made me well, I didn't have a phone for a good nine hours. And I didn't know I had a phone. I mean yeah, anyway. Um so I flashed the UG let me make sure here. Um the UG JK3 modem which is an i9000 modem it worked the roaming's gone everything's all nice um so that's something to keep in mind if you're in Canada and you're using an unlocked AT&T phone um you might have that issue but if you're using Roger's phone I'm pretty sure you'll be okay so um that would be my review of Andromeda 1.2 there is also 2.2, so if you're interested, um, you can try that out. Um, so that will be all for me, and I'll see you guys next time.